Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of you may be worried today or panicking just a little bit, but guys, the main thing that we should be focused on this week is that Bitcoin set a new all time high this week. On Wednesday, Bitcoin recorded its all time high at $67,167. Obviously, this is the highest the price has ever been and the highest we've been since back when we set our previous all time high back in April. Now, Bitcoin was not the only one. Ethereum, the very next day, also set a new all time high. Now, it honestly wasn't by much as its previous all time high was around 4383 and the new one is around 4387. So just a few dollars. Now, I know many of you might be a little worried because ever since we hit the all time high, we've had a pullback here. The pullback is currently sitting around 10%. First of all, this is very common when we are dealing with all time highs as of course, people will take profits. That is all part of the market structure, perfectly normal. Now the question is, how far back can this pullback go and where can we expect Bitcoin to go next? We will be talking about all this and more in today's video. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is, of course, to empower the community with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also turning on notifications. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So first thing on the agenda today, a recap of the trade setups that we gave you guys on Monday. And as you guys know, the main trade setup that we gave you guys was that $62,000 entry. If you guys rolled that to the top, that's about 8.3% move. If you use 10X leverage like we do, that is 83% profit on that move. If you bought at the breakout and sold at the top. Now, of course, it's hard to sell at the top. So even if you sold, let's say where the daily closed, that's still about 65% profit on that trade, guys. The second trade we gave you guys was on a breakout above $65,000. If you guys were able to enter that and ride that, you know, more or less to the top, that would have been around 3% move, about a 30% profit on that trade. If you guys want to trade with leverage on the platform that we trade, you can use the link in the description below where we trade on a Bybit and you will receive a bonus on your initial deposit, depending of course how much it is, is how much the bonus will be. Once you sign up, just go ahead and check their rewards hub and you can see all the information there. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump into today's analysis. So remember guys, on Monday's video, we spoke about the RSI being in overbought territory. We told you that usually when things like that happens, prices tend to pull back. So if we take a look at every time the RSI has gone into overbought territory, you will see that there's also been a pullback here attached with it, as you can see here again. So we spoke about that on Monday's video. That was the first sign of a possible pullback coming back at some point in time. We also we also spoke about this on uh, Wednesday's live stream. If you guys were tuned in, we covered this. We spoke about, you know, what a pullback can and could look like. So now how far could this pullback go is the question. Where is the support? Where can we see a bounce here on the prices. So of course, the main support right now holding Bitcoin up is $60,000. As you guys can see, the low of the day right now is $60,055. If for any reason we were to break below this low, that next support level is going to be right around here, which is around $58,000. The next one below there is probably going to be around 
5,000. Beyond that, then we're looking, we're going to look back on history where we've seen resistances and supports. That's gonna be around $52,000. And then of course we have $50,000. Now I do not expect it to go that low, especially down to these levels, the low 52, but those are the supports as we may go lower. Now, if we look back at every time that the RSI was oversold and then we had a pullback, we can kind of take a look at how far that pullback went. You see in this case, when the RSI was, you know, kind of similar to here, we had about a 12 and a half percent pullback. We're, we're pretty much almost there at this point. We're at, we're at about 10% right now. Now, if we look at the next one over here, of course, this one was a lot deeper. As you guys can see here, this one was around 22%. And again, if we take a look at this one right here, this one was also a lot deeper, around 27% on this pullback. Now, how long each pullback was, it kind of varies. You can see this one here was about three weeks. It says about more or less uh, 20 days. The one over here was about a week or six days. But you also have to take into account what was going on during those times when those pullbacks occurred. What was the market structure at that time? When we had the three week pullback here in the beginning of this year, we had just come off, you know, basically running hot all the way from October through December, basically of parabolic movement, right? So if we take a look at last year, when we had the same kind of movement during the same time, you can see that the move started basically beginning of October, around October 4th, you know, we're just going higher, consolidated a bit, went continued up, then we kind of grind it up. Then we got our first real pullback here, which lasted about one, two, three, four, five, five days before we bounce back up and basically just continued up at that point until around the end of November, which we got the longest pullback that we saw here in consolidation period, which was basically between the end of November to about midway through December at that point. Then the rise continued here. We got a little bit of consolidation, you know, towards Christmas time. And on Christmas, we actually went up and continued up from then on all the way until the 8th of January before we had our first official pullback here. So there was no real pullbacks, you know, anything severe. The worst day we had was about 8% drop. So if we compare our current run, you can see that it's, it's very similar here. We started the run up the end of September basically last day of September on October 1st we had a almost 10% candle and we've basically been running up ever since so yesterday we were down we had a candle that went down about 5.8% and today we're down about 2.2% so is there any reason to be worried right now I will tell you guys that I personally am not worried this is just the beginning of the next leg up and we have some on-chain analytics that backs this up. As you guys can see here, the number of active addresses for Bitcoin had a big drop off in uh, starting in April all the way down to July. And it has ever since been picking back up as of course the price has gone up. So that means that basically retail people are the ones that were exiting and now they're coming, they're starting to come back up, but they're not even in yet. If we look at the number of new addresses, you can see that again, when we had the sharp sell off, it dropped and now it's been climbing back up. That means that new participants are coming back into the space, which of course are mostly retail traders. If we look at the realized profits to value ratio, anytime you see this huge peaks here, you will notice that the price dropped. Why is that? That is basically profit taking. So you'll notice, so you'll notice here the sell off in the beginning of the year. Then you'll see here, this one right here is basically the sell off from April and June. And then currently where we're at right now, you'll see that it's very, very low compared to all of these other ones when we've had really big sell-offs. Basically, as long as we're not in this red area here, we are good because not that many people are currently taking profits, although they, they are taking profits currently. 
if we pull up the hash rate here for miners, you'll see that we had the drop off. That's when China banned mining in China, of course. Ever since, it's been going back up. Again, very bullish for Bitcoin overall. If we take a look here at the two year moving average, you will notice that anytime we've hit the top, we've been at the top. We've been beyond this moving average. You, you can see it right here. You can see it again here and here. Anytime it's been green, that's been the time to buy. So of course, the last time to really buy was back in uh, last year, 2020, the beginning of 2020. And when we set our previous all time high, we just reached it, but we didn't quite get there. And you can see in the previous run, we reached it a few times. We hit it twice basically and continued up beyond the moving average. If we look back here, we went beyond it again. If we look here, we tested it before going beyond it, which at that point, you know, those were the tops, right? So we have not, we have yet to go beyond it. If we look at that line, that line is currently sitting around $120,000. So that means that Bitcoin will have to go above $120,000 to get to these price levels where it's above the moving average. Looking at the logarithmic growth curves here, we spoke about this last time. The top is currently sitting around $135,000. Every time that the market has hit the top of this channel here, the growth curve, it has basically gone into bear market and we have yet to reach the top here. The top currently sits around $135,000. So overall guys, this is just a small pullback, a small blip that we probably won't remember a month from now. So I recommend you do not worry, do not panic sell. You can always take profits. It is never wrong to take profits as we hit all time highs. That is fine. I always recommend you guys to build up cash positions. I like to try to build up around 10% of my portfolio in cash so that when we have these drops like this, I have money to enter and buy the dip. So next we're going to jump into some trade setups that we will be watching over the weekend to try to make some profits on the inevitable bounce back up. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. Alrighty guys. So the main trades that we're watching here today is of course, $60,000 is going to be the first bounce back entry that we're watching and that we would like to take if if we see the prices go below 60 and come back up above 60 we want to get into that trade above 60 try to catch the bounce basically and ride it up because it's inevitably going to ride back up to sixty-seven thousand dollars as i believe that we will set up new all-time highs so if we enter at 60 and are able to ride a position back up just to all-time highs that's an 11 percent move alone right if you add in 10x leverage that's 110 percent profit on that move alone that's a move that i want to be a part of now if this support does hold here because we do have a lot of people buying here and protecting that support you can see it here on the volume shelf where we have a bunch of people buying there's a lot of activity here you can also see it if we zoom out a bit you can see this right here that's right around that 60 to 58 thousand dollar area which happen to be our next support area and as we go up you can see that there's not there's a basically a big drop off there so that's why we're able to jump up so fast when we finally do so on the way back up the entry that we're looking at is of course sixty two thousand dollars you can see that that was a area of interest there there were a lot of people there and once we broke out beyond 62 we had take off all the way to set new all-time highs so that will be our breakout trade for this weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Also, smash that like button. It takes us hours to put this together. It takes you a few seconds to hit the like. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. I hope you guys make tons of profits. Let's go ahead and make some more profits this weekend. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love. Oh, 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 oh,